Um, anyway, 53 years ago, we filmed House of Dark Shadows here. And uh, the following year, Night of Dark Shadows. And before that, Alexandra Malka and Louis Edmonds and David Hennessy were all here shooting exteriors, which you saw, you saw throughout the run of, of Dark Shadows. So when I say this is base camp, this, this really is home. And we used every inch of, um, of, 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 the, of the estate uh, for all of the filming. You probably remember that, that scene where uh, Jonathan Frid as Barnabas Collins uh, and we're, we're walking in daylight because he's been uh, cured by <laughs> Dr. Hoffman and Grayson. And, uh, and that was shot over here. And the costume scene, remember the costume ball from mm -hmm. House of Dark Shadows? That's the dress uh, that mm -hmm. I wore, which I've, I've, I've actually put it on permanent loan now to Lindhurst because mm -hmm. I think this is the place where it should be. Mm -hmm. um, but also that scene where Barnabas Collins shows up and um, uh, gives the emerald ne necklace to Joan Bennett. Uh, as uh, Elizabeth Stoddard, that's up in the gallery. <laughs> How many of you have already done the tour? Oh, you have, okay. So, yeah, have, have they told you all of these things, pointed out these rooms? Uh, there's Some of them room don't know. There's where Maggie Evans gets bitten, and, uh, uh, and this, remember the scar that Nick Smith made for me? Uh, and then there's the uh, bedroom that's right next to that, and that's where uh, Jonathan in the old age makeup that Dick Smith did uh, behind um, uh, Grayson Hall is, is Dr. Julia Hoffman packing her bag trying to get out of town because, <laughs> you know, she's botched the, uh, <laughs> botched the procedure. Um, anyway, every square inch of, uh, of um, Lindhurst has been used for, for filming. And in the basement, we had some dressing rooms, and we did all of the costumes and makeup and wardrobe down there. So um, it's lovely to be back in, in uh, this place that is so beautiful. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see you all. It's such fun to come to these things and see people that have come for many, many years, and then new people. And it always amazes me, because how many years is it, 50, 55 years ago, that we started this whole episode? <laughs> <laughs> and yet, we have new people all the time. And we haven't played, after all, I think. The show ended, when was it, 71 or something? 71. 71. And that is many years ago. And it's so delightful to see, and you know, because I used to think, oh, our fans will grow old with us. But they grow younger and younger. <laughs> it's just great. I love it. I love meeting you all this morning. I love this little um, area that we're in. Do I have to do something? Yes. There we go. Just Keep it off. Yeah, off okay. All right. I, I've got it. Um, I probably don't even need it, really. In, in no, you're a stage actor. <laughs> I am. Let's see. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to use the mic. I don't like the sound of it. You know, it, it reverberates in your ear and stuff like that. Anyway, delightful to see you all. And I hope you have a wonderful time today. Sorry for the rain, but it seems to be ordinary these days. I mean, we have it every weekend, so yeah. I'm getting used to it, you know. And uh, that's it. And, uh, Marie, how were you cast on Dark Shadows? How was tell, I tell cast? Talk about that. Yeah, oh, right. Well, <laughs> I was doing a play in New Hampshire, and my husband called me and said, an agent called and said he wants to submit you for Dark Shadows. I said, oh, what's that? I didn't even know. And so he told me, and I said, oh, yes, tell the agent. He said, I already did tell him. <laughs> so when I got back in town, his name was Jeff Hunter, he uh, called me, and we got together, and he, he um, submitted my name. And first the um, casting director said, oh, she's not right for the part. And I, luckily I had a strong agent, and he kept pushing me. And he finally said, 
and she said, okay, we have an audition with Danny Curtis. But don't feel bad if he says hello, and maybe he putts a little bit with his golf uh, club, and you you know, and he says goodbye, but, because you're really not right for the part. Oh, okay. I said, good job, God, I have three strikes against me before I even go. But I went. And he didn't do that. He had me read, he liked it, we talked, and he said, I'll give you another script I'd like you to read, go in the other room, and uh, come back. And so I did, and when I came back, I read again, and he said, thank you very much. And by the time I went home, I had a call, you have a call back for tomorrow, and we're going to put you in a gown and you know fix you up and everything. And there'll be a couple of other actresses also buying for the part. And uh, there was a blonde, a redhead, and a brunette. And I was the redhead. <laughs> and they all, the other two ladies had this long, beautiful, straight hair. My husband would pick me up afterwards, and he'd go off somewhere. And so I didn't hang out with the actors. But years later, as we started having the conventions, and Jonathan would come and do his one-man show. I started following him because he lived in New York and I lived in New York. And he would invite me to one of the public libraries where he was reading or wherever little theater he was doing it in New York. And he'd have little parties afterwards. And so we got to know each other quite well that way. Then, of course, fast forward to the 90s, 1990s, and uh, he was going to be directing The Lion in Winter in Georgia, in Milledgeville, Georgia. And he asked me to play the lead role, and I did, of course. And it was in the college, because there were a lot of college kids, but they needed that character, Eleanor of Aquitaine, who was very strong, you know, not to be a student, to have a little more uh, depth. And so I played that, and we lived in the mansion in Milledgeville because Milledgeville was the capital of Georgia during the Civil War. And so there was a mansion, and they kept that mansion. And so Jonathan and I lived in this mansion, this great mansion, there for about six weeks while we rehearsed and, and then finally did it. So we, we became, got closer and closer having that kind of relationship and right up until he moved to Canada, which we stayed in touch with each other but didn't see each other obviously very often. So uh, that was my loving relationship with Jonathan Bridge, which was great. I wish you all could have had that mm. same experience. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it depended upon what you were doing in the show. But then we would go down and do a, a camera blocking, and then a, a run through, and then what we called a stumble through. <laughs> uh, and then uh, when you thought this was never going to come together, and then we would do a live half hour show. Somehow we did all of this within seven hours, <laughs> which is just, I, I, I honestly don't know how we did it. By four o'clock, we were already back in the rehearsal room sitting at the table for a table read for the next day's show. So that whole show was done in that in that seven hour period. And it was, it was I was always amazed. I know. And I used to think by after four hours when how is this gonna go on? <laughs> <laughs> and can you go in for the notes and, and speeches were cut or dialogue was changed and this is right before you're going to go on and do it live. And uh, when we were down in the set doing it live, if you had a costume change, you did it during the commercial break. But the commercials were actually fed in for Drep soap or Hazel Bishop lipstick or, you know, whatever it was. The commercials were fed in. Uh, and, um, and so you'd have maybe a minute uh, to, to uh, change a costume and, and get to the next set. So and it was really tight. But I have to say, what could be better training for a young actor? First of all, to be working with veteran actors like Joan Bennett, Grayson Paul, Robert Estrado, Louie Edmonds, uh, wonder and you know, really wonderful stage actors like uh, Mitch Ryan. Um, 
And, and to be a young actor, to have this as your first job, and to be doing what is essentially costume drama, uh, it's just amazing. The other thing that I should mention, because I, I think... Um, <laughs> Right, this is a different place. Beautiful place. Yeah. Beautiful surroundings as well. I'm gonna do a little video of the area. Another video. All right. Beautiful. All right. The last one. This is the back of the house. The back of the house. The back of the mansion. Yeah, beautiful place. Yeah, but my, that's what's close, Nancy. Look at that. Close, Nancy. Look at that.